Let's find the voltage of a quadrupole. A quadrupole can be formed in different ways. One way is to have a dipole and a dipole oriented in opposite directions, essentially with their negatives touching. If we put them exactly on top of each other, they would perfectly cancel and we'd have nothing. But arranged like this, it turns out that this doesn't have a dipole moment or a net charge, but it has what we call a quadrupole moment. I want to find the voltage along the axis. Now the voltage of four charges is easy enough. You just add up KQ over R. We've got positive KQ over R and positive KQ over R. And we've got minus KQ over X and minus KQ over X. So that gives us two KQ times one over R minus one over X. All right, that's almost done. The sticky part is figuring out how this acts because one over R is really close to one over X, which means this is really close to zero, but we don't want an answer of zero. We want a better approximation. So we know that R is the square root of X squared plus D squared from Pythagoras. You can factor an X out and you get X times square root one plus D over X squared. So 1 over r minus 1 over x can be written as 1 over x times that square root minus 1 over x. You can pull the 1 over x out. Then we have this fraction minus 1. Now, if d is super tiny, then that would vanish and we get 0. And that's the problem. That's too rough. We want to get an actual approximation. So we use what's called the binomial theorem. You can do an expansion of 1 plus y to the n you know, people usually think of that in terms of squared or cubed or to the fourth, and yeah, you can expand it out. The cool thing is this works even if n is not an integer. If it's not an integer, then this doesn't stop. It goes on dot, dot, dot. But in general, it's 1 plus n times y plus n times n minus 1 over 2y squared plus more terms forever. If n is minus 1 half, because that's a fraction, a square root on the bottom, and d squared over x squared is y, then we get that this expression is approximately 1 minus 1 half d squared over x squared. So if we put that there, the 1's cancel out, but we are left with something that isn't a 0. We have negative d squared over 2x, and when we multiply by 2kq, we get the voltage of this quadrupole is minus kq d squared over x cubed.